Hello, my name is Giovanna Noah Wilson, and I'm a recent graduate from Smith College. I graduated with an undergraduate degree in biology and marine science. My research is studying the community diversity of foraminifera over time, space, and response to temperature. So my hypothesis was that the biodiversity of living benthic foraminifera will vary spatially and over time. Studying foraminifera is important because looking at them will help understand the impact of changing climates on our ecosystems, as well as help monitor coastal environments and sea level changes. So my approach to this was to combine microscopy, molecular techniques, and GPS. So my study organism is foraminifera. They are single-celled eukaryotes that have shells or tests that are made of calcium carbonate. They also have pseudopods, which are arm-like extensions that help them with mobility as well as uptake of nutrients. There are two main types of foraminifera, the planktonic, which live mainly in the upper water column, and the benthic, which mainly live in the bottom or within the sediment. They are among the most abundant shelled organisms in the marine environment. My study location was Madison, Connecticut. I did most of my sampling in Madison. Methods that were used were filtration. Um, I filtered the sediments using a 500 and a 100 micron filter to cut out large particulates as well as small gametes. They were then placed in a minus 80 degrees freezer to help lice open the cells. DNA and RNA extraction were also used for the molecular work. PCR amplification with 18 and 19 R primers, MISEC sequencing, and then assembly and data analysis. So some things important about my methods is I was using 4M specific primers, which is the 18F and 19R primers. Um, and this allows for the amplification of specific regions, either in the DNA or RNA of, a, of my specific samples. So what makes these unique primers is that these primers are only used uh, because uh, for forams, because they amplify regions that are only specific to the foraminifera and no other species in my samples. Some of the conclusions that I found through my research was that environmental conditions do play a crucial role in foraminiferal assemblages in salt marshes of Madison, Connecticut. Most sites were dominated by monothalamus species, Arcelanida florens, and seasonally was very important to control the species distribution as well as affecting species diversity. Having accurate GPS locations along with the species identification really helped aid, will, will help aid in future research. So future work going forward would be on-site of the elevational data should be collected to assess elevational changes at each location and with better accuracy. Time, space, and other variants would really need to be compared to better assess the differences among foraminiferal assemblages. Examples of this would be salinity, sediment characteristics, and temperature. The takeaway for this research was really that identifying a spatial variation of benthic foraminifera using the combination of all morphological and molecular data will really provide a critical baseline for the studies tracking impacts of changing climates. Thank you for watching.